Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and it is like <laughs> not even 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'm filming having coffee in my gigantic Paris mug. Anyway, today we are doing a petite pour unboxing, and before we get to that, I just want to address how things have changed in the background. My maps are gone. I think, knock on cheap Ikea desk. It is not jinxing myself to now tell you guys we are moving. Um, I have a whole video about it. Well, I have several videos. I have lots of cl random clips where I'm just talking to the camera, giving updates. So I'm gonna upload that into like two or three videos so you guys could see how things sort of progressed along the journey. Um, yeah, but we are moving and very soon. So that's why I really haven't had makeup on or uh, the room's been a little bit chaotic because things are chaotic in this house right now. But let's go ahead and talk about Petite Four because this month's box arrived, the May box. The card is a beautiful floral. This is really bright and happy. I quite like that. And there are four products this month. So let's go ahead and look at the first one on top. This is Odesite California. And it is the Supercharge Your Skin Routine. So this is BA plus SI Contour. That is what all the packaging says. So if you open it, it is just this tiny little vial. And it looks like there is tons and tons of information on the product. It has directions. Um, one or two drops in the morning and night and then it's got all the ingredients it's got fun fact details and then you open it up and it's got a lot more information about how their skincare system works as a brand and so let me read to you the description of this product this one tiny teeny tiny vial is one milliliter and is worth ten dollars that means these products must be highly concentrated and very expensive at full size and it says this nutritive serum is specially formulated for the delicate skin of the eye contour rich in vitamins plant sterols and baobab baobab oil <laughs> this serum targets and prevents visible signs of aging around the eye so it seems like an interesting product. I um, already see flower oils in here, so that's kind of worrying. I don't know that that's something I want to use, but I will think about that, look into that further. Next item is from Volition, and I think I've tried something from them before. I think as a Sephora freebie, I got um, apple cider vinegar wipe things that are like masks or peels or something, I don't know. But this is their turmeric brightening polish for face and body. So I'm assuming that means it is a scrub, yes. So let's take a look at what the texture is like. It says it's for face and body. Oh, it looks pretty fine, but let's see after we rub it on. The back of my hand. Yes, it is very, very fine. So I feel like, given the viscosity of the material that the exfoliating bits are in, I think this would be very safe to use on the face. Putting a tissue so I can wipe that off. Um, and yeah, and since it's a wash, I'm not really all that concerned about the ingredients. But I'll, I'll probably use this on my face and my body. This is probably something I'd keep in the shower. So let's read a little bit about that. It is 1.52 ounces and it's an $18 value. I don't know if I really showed you the container. So there's that. Come on, focus. My camera is just a bitch. Like, come on. There we go. So... <laughs> Like I said, $18 physically brightens, tones, and hydrates skin while promoting overall skin radiance. Gently massage on wet skin, leave on for two minutes, and rinse well. Use twice weekly on face and body. So I would maybe uh, double check the ingredients. It looks like there is um, sandalwood extract. I don't know if it's something you really want to leave on the skin for two minutes to really soak in since it's got uh, 
that for a green ingredient. I don't know what else is in there. I don't really feel like reading the whole thing, but just double check that before you decide to really let it soak in for two minutes per the instructions. I would probably just use it and wash it off. Uh, next, we have John Masters Organics Leave-In Conditioning Mist with Green Tea and Canandula. So here's that. John Masters packaging is usually this dark, um, translucent type of bottle, so it's maybe going to be hard to see. There we go. We focused. And this is a $10 value for one ounce. Rich in nutrients that help combat damage caused by pollutants, sun, and environmental aggressors, this lightweight mist detangles and helps smooth. So that is awesome. If it says it helps detangle, I'm probably going to set it aside and wait to use it until I'm done using the sun bomb detangler I'm using currently because I really like that and I like to have a detangler on hand at all times because my hair is very, very prone to tangles. So very excited about that. Definitely something I will use. Actually, I mean, both of these are something I will use. I don't know if I'm going to really hop into this oil. I want to take a better look at the ingredients, but these two items I definitely will use. Then the last product is, I think, from Alima Pure. Yes, that is the brand name. And it is the Natural Definition Brow Pencil in Blonde. And so you guys see me on video, I'm not exactly blonde, but I do prefer blonde eyebrow products because I like my brows on the lighter side. I do not like them super like defined in your face. So here's the pencil. Let me read to you about it. It is 1.14 grams, $18 value. This creamy blendable pencil is designed for both subtle enhancement and bold definition. It glides on easily and blends beautifully and lasts all day. So let's see what the color looks like. Ooh, I think that's actually gonna be good. I feel like that color would also be good for gingers. There is a slight redness to it. It's kind of like a red clay sort of color. Focus on the line. Oh man, there we go. I think that's actually going to be a really, really good match. So very excited about that. I tend to go for Anastasia brow products, but I'm always happy to try something new. And yeah, I, I don't even always fill in my brows because I feel like my brows are pretty decent, but yeah. Overall, I would say we're like at three out of four because I'm definitely excited about that and that and that, but this I'm like not super excited about. It seems exciting when you see that this tiny little vial is a $10 value, but then when you look at the oils listed on here, it's like some of these are very fragrant. So I don't know that I want to put all that fragrant stuff on my face, especially in an area as sensitive as the under eye. So kind of miss there but three out of four ain't bad i like this box and this is a very practical box to me because this is stuff i will actually use and go through at some point so pretty pleased not bad at all for this month so if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions you can leave them down below i'm sure someone's probably got a question about my moving and i'm very excited about it um and if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. I would love to know if you enjoyed the products you got in your Petite 4 box. What did you think of them? And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!